Hey, what's up? This is Adrian from tacticalprojectmanager.com. What does the typical day of a project manager look like? And what are the daily routines and tasks that he has to perform? This is something that many people want to know who are thinking about switching careers and going towards project management, but also those who are new at the job and they want to know how they should structure their day. So that's the question I'm going to answer in this video. So stay tuned. Nap Designs on Reddit asks, Hi guys, web developer here who will be transitioning into his first project management role next month. I'm excited to start and wanted to see an insight of how you all go about your days from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. That's a quite a long day. Is there anything in particular you do day to day that helps lower your stress levels, make you more efficient, keeps you sane? Thanks. So what can we answer Nap Design here? First of all, there is probably no other job in the world, well, I can't say that, but no other job in the company which is more diverse and more unpredictable uh, than the job of a project manager. And that's what makes it so much fun, at least that's what I think. Uh, so with that said, a brief overview about how I structure my day. I, when I come to the office in the morning, uh, my first task is to check my email and I don't just read every email and answer every email. I just filter out what are the really important things that I need to answer, get answered right away, like from managers or uh, from, you know, activities related, related to activities which are currently taking pra place where we are, have high pressure and we have to get them solved. So that's about half an hour, an hour in the morning I spend with email. And then I always focus on the tasks which are, or the, the important activities which are going to be finished in this week, in the current week. So every morning I ask myself, what's one important thing that we are working on right now that we, have to, that we are going to finish this week, where I have to make sure that it actually gets done. And this can be a, a test, this can be a workshop, that we have to close successfully uh, some IT software development that's being that's in process and I know that's going to be finished on Thursday so if it's Monday I'm gonna do everything that I can to make sure that we get this task done on time and this usually involves calling up people hey how, how you're doing are you moving along with the task uh, can we finish it are we going to finish it till Thursday are there any issues, anything I can help you with? And I just don't, I don't just call, I, I go to my team, I sit next to their desk and, you know, try to get a feel of about how, whether we are moving forward. And then I might, might have some meetings, uh, either as a host or also meetings that where I'm just participating to see whether they, we are moving into the right direction. So you will always have meetings as a project manager, manager every day or every second day. And uh, you have to make sure that every meeting is, is, uh, provides value and that things get decided and closed. That's very important. So I might just enter at the end of the meeting uh, to make sure that we are, can, can make a clear cut and move on to the next topic. Then we are already at lunchtime. So I have a short lunch and after in the afternoon I go back back at my desk the first the next task is again to check my email so the new mail that has come in um, again I follow the same I use the same filter I don't answer every email I look uh, what is really important which what are we working on this week and I answer and this this questions and and, and give directives, uh, give orders to my team about these specific things by email. Um, then what I do also, which is a, a daily habit really, and I, I really encourage you to follow a similar process. <clears throat> Every day for about half an hour after lunch, I open the project to-do list. So this is the Excel file where all the tasks and, and deliverables and action items and issues are recorded with a, with a description, a deadline and a responsible. So, and what I do, I open this Excel file, 
I check which tasks are, are going to be going to fall due this week or beginning of next week. And I set the filter and then I call up, I follow up with those responsible for each task. And I, again, same process. Hey, John, how, how are we moving forward with this, with this job? Any issues, anything I can help you with? Uh, and depending on that, I, I may do some other things like um, inviting for, a, for an ad hoc meeting to get some urgent issue resolved to make sure that we are moving forward and that we are closing or finishing the tasks that we are, the team is working on. So follow up, reviewing the to-do list and making sure that everyone in my team is moving forward. Uh, this for about half an hour and then again in the afternoon there are meetings, uh, workshops which I attend. Again, this is not, you can't plan this long in advance. Some, some meetings are of course planned ahead of time but some others are more uh, like urgent firefighting meetings and you just have to squeeze them in somehow. And then usually it's already uh, 5 p.m. And again, then before I go home, I will again review, my, check my email, uh, answer some phone calls, um, do some of the correspondence. And also if there's some meeting next day, the next, uh, next or second day, I will prepare a presentation and like kind of prepare, look ahead, you know, what's, what are we going to do, what I'm going to do tomorrow, um, and then prepare for this meeting. Then I call it a day. I shut off the computer and I go back home to ho and forget about all the work that I've been doing the whole day. This is very important. So you have to have some procedure or some routine uh, to, to, to you know, cool you down yeah, so that you can think about other things. So the other question from uh, this guy on Reddit was techniques for relaxing. Um, this is very important because the project manager job is really taxing and really demanding physically but also mentally. So you're, you're being you know, bombarded with so much information and you have to make so many decisions every day. Uh, it's really psychologically demanding. So I, I usually work um, only in one and one and a half hour blocks. So after such a block, I will just uh, leave my computer and take a short walk in the office or outside just to get my, my thoughts to, to, to think about something else or take a coffee break with colleagues, you know, do some small talk that I get away from the, from the, from the stuff. So the other question were uh, routines for being more efficient every day. I think um, what helps me is to ha have these kind of blocks of work, of concentrated focused work for checking email, for preparing a presentation. And I, I might even go to a quiet meeting room or meeting corner where without phone, where I'm not being disturbed. So this, this helps me to get a lot done in, in, an, in a short amount of time. Um, and then your efficiency, I mean, you have to have a good system for, you know, for, for managing your tasks and, and, and all the information that you get, your email, your documents, your to-do list. So maintain this regular on a regular basis. So then you're also efficient automatically. And finally, to keep you sane. So kind of hard sometimes, uh, especially in the really, you know, peak phases in a project. But what I like to do is to plan some, something enjoyable uh, with my wife after work, like going to a nice restaurant, watching a movie, going to, your, to the opera or meeting, just meeting some friends. Uh, and this helps me to think about, about other stuff than just work, which isn't easy. But this is very helpful because then you also have a better sleep and uh, you'll be more refreshed and recharged in the morning so that you can get again a lot done the next day. So everybody has his own routines here, but you have to make sure to have, you know, phases where you relax, where you think about other stuff and where you also enjoy life, even if it's during the week.
Yeah. So make sure to make these routines part of your daily schedule. Okay, I hope this was helpful for you. And if you have questions, just post a comment here on YouTube or on the blog. And also make sure you hit subscribe because this is a YouTube channel, you know it. So that you are informed about updates. Talk to you soon. Bye bye. Take care.